Hi, Brad Dressler with Dressler Consulting again. Today I'd like to look at a problem that many of you experience when you have a home like one of the ones you see here. These homes average over $400,000 each, and in this case are all two-story and three-story homes. The problem they all share is that they have a single zone heating and cooling system. And the problem that they have is that typically it is too warm upstairs in the summer and too warm upstairs in the winter as well. Well, why is that and how can we do something about it? The problem all these homes share is that they have a single furnace and air conditioning combination supplying both the first and second floor with only one thermostat. Since the thermostat is typically on the first floor, the only time the system runs is when the first floor needs heating or cooling. The result is the upstairs in the summer doesn't get enough cooling and gets too much heating in the winter. The answer is something we call zoning. And here you see a typical two-story house that has a two-zone system. Now, while this is two zones, it could easily be a third zone for the basement, a fourth, fifth zone, as many zones as the size of your house warrants. While we still have a supply system for the second floor and a supply system for the first floor, what we first add in a zoning system is a control damper on the first floor and the second floor. Next, we add another thermostat, one for the second floor, and we have, of course, one for the first floor. Each thermostat is in control of the system for that floor. The final piece of this puzzle is a zone controller. This acts as an interface between each thermostat, the damper, and the furnace. So when one zone thermostat calls, the zone controller opens the correct damper and starts the furnace, or in the summer, the air conditioner. And although both zones could be open, and we could be having heating or cooling supplied to both zones, most of the time we'll find that we only have air supplied to one zone or the other. And so we add a bypass damper so that we don't overpressurize half of the system. So now when the first floor needs heating or cooling, the thermostat on that floor opens the damper for that floor through the zone controller and turns on the furnace or air conditioner, but only for that floor. And the same then is true for the second floor. When the second floor needs heating or cooling, the system comes on but supplies air only to that floor. The result of all this is even heating and cooling year-round on both floors with shorter run times for your furnace and air conditioner, which, besides the better comfort, saves you money. Shown here are the component parts we've been referring to. Zone dampers come in both rectangular and round sizes. Thermostats are seven day programmable and a zone control panel that makes the entire system work. This can be either retrofit into an existing home and would certainly be something you should look at if you're going to build a new home of any size, even if it's not two story. For more information on heat loss and gain, duct system design, equipment selection, and other topics in heating and air conditioning, please visit our website you see listed below. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Have a great day.